So it happens to all of us. We get a great idea, but we don't really know what's involved in accomplishing it, getting that website, book, portfolio done. So today we explore a free tool on the internet that's as much fun to use as it is effective at helping us find out what is truly involved in getting what's in our heads into our reality. Today we're going to look at Bubble.us, their relatively new website in the industry of brainstorming and mind mapping. The idea is this, you start with a centralized idea or a thought and then you branch out from it to find out what's involved or related to that idea. First we're going to start out with the anatomy of the website and then I will show you an example of how you can make your thoughts a reality in Bubble.us. The first thing you need to do is go to bubble.us. Just click in your address bar and type bubbl.us. Once there, click the Start Brainstorming button. Once inside, you either want to create an account or sign in if you already have one. I highly recommend doing this because this will give you access to a lot more of the features in bubble.us. The account is free. Once you have a registered account, um, you'll be able to access any of the sheets that you've made previously, like I have here. Let's take a moment and just look over the layout of this page. Um, there's a lot you can do with this program, so I'm just going to cover the basics. Right in the middle we have our main bubble. This is where we'll put our main thought or idea that we'll be brainstorming from today. Over on the left we have the set print area button which is great when you're ready to print your, uh, your project. You can use this to just say where, what exactly you want to print on the page. You also have zoom buttons. This plus and minus this will let you to get a bird's eye view or get in real close. You can also zoom by rolling your mouse wheel, which I prefer. Um, you also have an undo button and a center button that will return your main node to the center of the screen regardless of where you put it. On the right side you have the account contact us and sign out buttons those are pretty standard fare. You also have three tabs. The most important one is my sheets. This is all the projects that you've made over time if you've saved them. You can also create a new project here if you want to start over and you can also use the sharing button to share these with your friends. The friends tab shows you your current friends. You can also add friends by using the find friend button or if your friend does not have an account with bubble.us click click here to invite them by email and if they join you'll be able to share. Any projects you're currently sharing will show up in the collaborate tab. This little help box right here is context sensitive if you move your mouse over a button on the screen, you'll get a uh, help item in the help box telling you what that button does. Lastly, the menu button gives you several different links. The send read only link allows you to send a version of your project that cannot be edited to a friend. HTML embed code allows you to put it on your website or in your blog. And export and import allow you to upload or download the entire project to and from your computer. The editor settings allows you to uh, adjust some of the more superficial things in the program like sounds, effects, or the paper effect in the back. Alright, now let's try our hand at actually making our first sheet. Click where it says start here to name your first bubble. Let's say that our idea was to start a ferret business. I'll use that as the center of my brainstorm. Now, if I wanted to create children to this bubble, this would be the things that are branching out from this idea. I'd use the child button right here. This brings up a new bubble for me that I can enter in. I'm going to put 
website in this bubble because I think that in order to have an effective uh, ferret business, I need a good website. Okay. Now, I'm going to need more than just one sound of this ferret business because obviously the website's not the only thing I need. So I'm going to use the sibling button right here on the website bubble to create another bubble right next to it. And we're going to name this one Ferret Resources. These are the tools that I'll need to run my business, the different things that I will need. So now I want to add a child to Ferret Resources. Now I can just click the new child balloon again, and here I go. I get another color bubble. Now this one's attached to Ferret Resources. Let's call this one Ferret Kennel. I'm going to have to find someone who's breeding ferrets so that I can sell them. Now, that's not the only child that goes under Ferret Resources, so maybe I'll click for another child. And I'll name that one Ferret Product Vendors. This is the person that will be selling all the different ferret products that people will need to keep their ferrets healthy. Now, because he's a product vendor, I mean, I'm actually going to want to offer that right on my website. So, I want to connect this to my website, um, not as a child, but just, just to say they're connected. So, what I can do is I can click and drag this little blue circle icon here right onto the node that I want to connect. By doing that, I get an arrow that tells me that those two are connected. Now, you can delete arrows just by clicking them if you want to uh, disassociate the two. So now I'm ready to share my project. After you've saved it, just click it here and click the sharing button. Choosing a friend from this list will allow you to share it with them so that they can work on it too. Of course, you'll need friends first. Another way I could share this project would be to print it. Just click the Set Print Area button, select Fit All, or Screen if you want to have some area around the project itself, and click Set Up and Print to choose your printer. Another way I might distribute it is to click Menu and click Export. Here I can export it as either an image, an XML, or an HTML document. The easiest probably being the image. Just select image and JPEG and hit OK. Once you uh, save this to your computer, you'll be able to open it up in any image viewing program. And it gives you a uh, nice image to use. Lastly, I might want to send it using the send read-only link. You can either copy and paste this exact link here into your chat bubble or into an email or whatever, or you can enter somebody's email here and with a message. And then click submit. And then it'll send an email to their inbox with your message in it and a link to this project. I hope today's episode has encouraged you to give bubble.us a try. Today we used Firefox, but you can use any major browser on any operating system to access Bubble.us. Be sure to check out our companion article to today's video that will give you additional tips, tricks, and information on Bubble.us. You can get it at techbytes.com. That's tech-bytes.com. And be sure to sign up for our newsletter so you'll be alerted the next time our videos and articles are released. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.